Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a things you actually need in college. I know that the preparation for college is really intense and you think that you need everything under the sun in order to be happy away and like your home away from home and you just start buying everything and you're like oh my god I spent a thousand dollars and I'm totally going to use everything and it's you're not going to use everything. When I was doing my college shopping, I went with my mom. I wanted my dorm room to be homey, but also I knew that it wasn't going to be like a permanent thing. It wasn't like I was moving into an apartment where I was going to be there for a long period of time. Every single year I would have a brand new housing situation. I'm just going to give you some of the things that I felt that I definitely needed. I typed out a little list on my iPhone just because I was FaceTiming one of my roommates from college and I was like, what did we really need when we were in school? And we kind of came up with this list. If you guys think that you have found something that you definitely need in school, then please leave it in the comments down below just so that we can help out all the other people that come to this video and need some advice. Number one thing, Febreze. This is going to be probably when you are living with people and you're sharing a bathroom because everybody poops. They may like a little jingle about it. It's true. It happens. Just have some Febreze so that it doesn't smell terrible and so that you can like just make it smell like roses or something. You are also going to need a vacuum and a Swiffer. This is also more pertaining to if you do not have people that come in to clean your rooms. If you're living in a dorm room where everything is all in one, then you're going to want a vacuum. You're going to want a Swiffer because you're going to be wearing your shoes outside and then inside because you don't have like a mud room to leave them. So it's always a good idea to have a Swiffer so that your room is clean. Otherwise, you're going to have dust particles everywhere. You're going to be sneezing, coughing, get sick more easily. You're also going to want to have a separate blankie um, or a blanket to carry around with you because you're going to have your comforter on your bed but if you want to watch a movie or like if you're doing something with your roommates where you're all going to be in the same vicinity it's nice to bring not your comforter off your bed but just like a little blanket that you can kind of travel around with also you'll probably find yourself cuddling with this during the winter month because for the most part you are at school during winter if you're in the northeast if you go to a nice sunny climate then you probably don't need a blanket. netflix this is kind of just a given if you do not have netflix you're going to buy netflix or you're going to use your roommates like i still do thank you no sheen when you're in school you need a getaway and you just need something to look forward to if you are getting involved with a show that gives you something to look forward to outside of your studies because you do need to give your brain a rest water lots and lots and lots and lots of water if you are the type of person that can use one of those reusable water bottles then just get one of the Brita filters if not then you can go to Walmart or Target and just buy cases of water because you will be drinking a lot more water in college than you think you will have snacks that's kind of a given whether you're going to the library to study have some like healthier snacks because your calf will have snacks they just won't be overly healthy you're gonna want to have chocolate because girls every month we need chocolate case in point you're gonna want a really good shower caddy if you are using a communal bathroom because if you're just balancing all of your stuff in your arms it's not gonna go as planned you're gonna have stuff flying all over the place so it's better to have a shower caddy probably one that you can bring into the shower with you so I recommend a plastic one definitely shower shoes you do not want to be walking barefoot in the showers at your university. No, 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 no. I know so many people that got foot fungus because they decided that they were too good for shower shoes. Please go to Old Navy, buy a pair of like $3 flip flops. They will last you all four years and your feet will thank you. A mattress pad. This is probably one of the most important things that you'll need. I'm like a rock when I sleep, but if my bed is uncomfortable, then I get like knots in my back and I'm just very agitated in the morning when I wake up. So a mattress pad is definitely a given. The mattresses that you'll be sleeping on have been slept on by many, 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 many people. So you're gonna have like springs bouncing up all over the place. It's not gonna be comfortable. I highly recommend investing in a mattress pad because you are gonna have it for all four years. I got the squishy memory foam ones from Bed Bath & Beyond. They are pricier. If you don't feel like splurging on a mattress pad, then they have a whole bunch of different alternatives and they're mainly at Target, but you can also check Bed Bath & Beyond even though you will be paying a little bit more there. You're gonna need towels. I recommend at least two, one for your hair, one for your body. Uh, and also you're gonna wanna do laundry pretty frequently with those. So if you think that you need more because you won't be able to do laundry as frequently, then I recommend getting four. Also have like little face towels or like washcloths. You're gonna need going out clothing. You are gonna be going out a lot more than you thought you would. It's gonna happen. You're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be fun. And you're not gonna wanna wear the exact same clothes in every single Instagram picture. So you are gonna have a drawer dedicated to just going out clothes. It's not necessarily that you need like a whole bunch of different bottoms, but like different tops just to mix it up a bit. Uh, you wanna transition from summer to winter. So just something to think about. Bring 
wearing gym clothes with you because even if you don't think that you're gonna be like the gym type of person when you get to school you're gonna realize that at least your freshman year you were gonna have so much free time that you are gonna need something to do and going to the gym is a really good idea because you can go in between your classes you can go to your night classes or whatever however your schedule is set up you will find time to go to the gym you'll feel a lot happier because it releases the endorphins it's just you're gonna be a lot happier in college if you decide to go to the gym because your body's gonna be naturally happy and also it's gonna be counteracting all of the bad calories that you'll be consuming because you'll be drinking you'll be ordering meals at two o'clock in the morning and also the calf food is not always the best tons and tons and tons of comfy clothes buy sweatpants from your school bring sweatshirts bring pink wear everybody dresses like a bum when they go to class it depends on the time if it's an 8 a.m everybody's gonna be wearing sweatpants the people that are dressed nicely probably have class straight through till the end of the day so they're like all right i need to be like put together by the time that two o'clock rolls around so just bring a bunch of bummy clothes because especially when you go to the library to study you're not going to want to be sitting there in high heels and like a mini skirt and a crop top also depending on where you go to school you are going to want to bring rain boots with you you because they'll be used during the snow months. The big one is you're gonna want to bring fans. If you go to a university that is good enough to provide you with air conditioning during the hot months, consider yourself extremely blessed because my freshman, sophomore, and junior year, no air conditioning at all. So you had to rely solely on fans. We had five fans in our room because of how hot it was because we were always on the top floor, heat rises. So bring as many fans as you possibly can. Another thing you're gonna want to bring a winter jacket with you if you are going to school in the Northeast. When you're packing and it's hot out, you don't necessarily think of all of these things because you're like, oh, well, it's like 80 degrees outside. I'm going to bring shorts and tank tops, but the weather changes a lot faster than you think it would. Bring a printer with you. You're not going to want to drag your ass to the library every single time that you have to print a paper. And if you, God forbid, forget that you have a paper due at 8 a.m. and it's 7.55 and you're like, oh my God, I can't go to the library and get to class on time. I'm going to fail this assignment. Relieve the stress from yourself and get a printer or share ink with one of your roommates just figure out a way to have a printer in your room because it's gonna make your life so much easier you're gonna to want to have plastic forks and knives as well as paper plates because you are gonna use those when you are bringing food from the calf or if you decide to make food for yourself in your dorm or you can go to Chipotle and steal them like I did Chipotle was my best friend because we had one not too far from campus and anytime we went there we got food for takeaway and I always got forks and knives and just like loaded up you're gonna to want to bring your sunglasses because as you're walking to class you are gonna be walking in direct sunlight so you're gonna to want to have something to protect your eyes and it's just a good idea to have sunglasses. A portable speaker. Definitely have a portable speaker. When you're going out on the weekends, you're going to want to blast music. Even if music is like a, an escape for you, you're going to want to have a portable speaker to play your music because having it on your laptop is great, but having it like louder is better. Also bring headphones. That's kind of a given. You're going to want a very long phone charger. So just go to Marshalls or even Target. Okay, now I don't really know what they're called. I call them the whore plugs because of a meme that I saw online. You're going to want that because you're going to have a lot of stuff that you're going to have to plug into it. Bring post-its. This is also dependent on you as a person post-its are a great way to keep yourself organized to give yourself reminders and also to just give your roommates like a little hey like good luck on your test or whatever a day planner hmm. <laughs> if you do not have a day planner in college you're gonna be really upset so have a day planner write everything down and you have like the full calendar month and you also have like the day by day breakdown every single thing that I had to do was in that day plan if you're in a sorority you're gonna want some arts and craft supplies even if you're not in a sorority you're gonna want to get like an adult coloring book or something because it's something to distract you from your class to just let your mind wander be creative and also just relax and veg out you're gonna want to get a rug because most universities do not have carpeted floors if they do and you know in advance that they do you don't necessarily need one all of our floors were hard floors with a rug over them makes it more homey and it also makes it a little warmer a lamp and this is like a clip on desk lamp I got mine at Target and I think it was five or six dollars if you guys ever want to see like what my dorm room was set up like I will leave the link in the info bar down below so see how I organized everything you're gonna want to bring some form of lighting with you now you have to check with your school and make sure that they have like a list of hazards because Christmas lights like regular Christmas lights are typically not allowed because they are a fire hazard and also like the really pretty like little lamp lights that they sell in Urban Outfitters are not allowed but you can get rope lights and that's what I had and it was great because it brought so much light to my corner of the room so I really recommend getting rope lights you can buy them online and I'll leave a link for that down below another thing you'll want is a mirror if you do your makeup I had a light up mirror and it was the greatest thing ever I used it every single day you're also gonna want to bring a hair dryer this is kind of like common knowledge but also if you curl your hair a lot bring a curling iron if you straighten your hair bring a straightener bring peroxide and rubbing alcohol band-aid Advil have like a little medical bag with you that's what I did I had like my nail clippers in it I had my vitamin C my Advil 
band-aids like first aid stuff and it was just all in one compartment so I knew where to go if I needed something so that is everything that I think that you guys will definitely need for college granted it is a lot of stuff but it is stuff that will last you for all four years of your schooling and even beyond that into your master's program this is all stuff that you will be able to use again and again I hope that you guys found this video informative if you have anything else that you think you may need please leave it in the comments down below if you guys have any questions about anything that you think you may need or you're kind of like on the fence about it please also leave that down below if you have not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and click the subscribe button also turn on your notifications so that you know when I will be posting videos I'll be posting two videos a week for the month of August for all of your back-to-school needs so that's it I'll see you all in my next video ta-ta for now